You gained a lot of mainstream media attention when you were uh, announced as a uh, One Nation candidate back in uh, December uh, last year, and much was made of the fact that you would have been the first um, Asian candidate for uh, One Nation. Uh, however, uh, as uh, we touched on briefly at the beginning, you were uh, disendorsed um, uh, by the party uh, because they objected to a, a Facebook post that you made about um, uh, a, a, about a, a gay couple who were accused of um, child abuse, which was interpreted as uh, homophobic. Um, I'll start from the beginning. Um, why did you first decide to get involved in One Nation? Well, I, you know, um, I support what Pauline Hanson said back in, back to um, uh, 20 years ago. And everything she said, it's all happened now. And we, we are actually in danger, as she said, that we're going to lose our country, you know, for, for, for the Chinese communist, And also for, um, you know, this... Uh, uh, refugees that might um, coming from you know Islam background and they you know terrorist at attack as part of their teaching um, so what I think of what she said is all right so that's why I I start to you know I decide to um, apply for candidacy with one nation so her 1996 comment that uh, Australia was uh, in danger of being swamped by Asians, that didn't offend you as a person, person of Asian background? Oh, well, you know, there's a good Asian and there's a, a greedy Asian. So I am on the good side of Asian and the greedy side is the Chinese communist who, are take, who wants to take over the world. So, you know, there's different uh, Asians. And I think by now, people can see what's happening now. And I wouldn't take too much notice for uh, what um, Paul Hansen said back to 20 years ago, because everything she said is right. And that's what I'm looking at. And I want, I want to take our country back as much as she does. So, you know, our goal is the same. Yeah. Now let's talk about the Facebook post that got you uh, disendorsed. So it was about a, a gay couple who'd been accused of child abuse, which was later confirmed they were uh, cleared of that. And uh, obviously there was already a lot of media scrutiny on you. And so when this post emerged, the, the media was only too happy to report it. Um, you said that um, uh, because, uh, that this couple, uh, gay, should be uh, treated as uh, patients. Uh, why did you decide to make the post? Well, look, when I see the post, I was so angry. All I think about is the victims, the, the, the boys who are raped in that case, you know. Um, and that also made me think about the uh, safe school programs that in bad, I mean, in our school, and I was so worried how many gay pedophile is that program going, going to groom out, you know, from that program. So it just, and, and gay community, they always say they are uh, born in that way. Okay, now, if you're born in that way, if you don't have a medical consultation, how would you know you're born in that way or not? So that's why... I see, I'm in the comment, you know, they, they should have a treated as patients or have a medical con consultation to, to, to find out if they're really born in that way. Yes. That, and, you know, all, I'm, all I think about is those victims. And there are so many other cases. This is not only case. Yeah, a gay pedophile case. Well, let's talk about the, the aftermath of it because... Um, I, I, it was interesting that you were not the, the only um, well, One Nation candidate to, um, you know, be uh, criticised by the media. However, you were uh, singled out and, and disendorsed from the party. There was also, to my memory, in the, the WA election, there was a, 
another candidate, I, I believe her name was Michelle Myers, who said that um, uh, gays use uh, Nazi mind control tactics, yet uh, she wasn't uh, disendorsed. So uh, why, why was the response to, to your post uh, so different from uh, One Nation? Uh, well, because I think the, the media are all lefties media, major, majority. So they will stand for the gay community rather than stand for a person who are care, caring about the children. So, you know, that, which is quite sad, really, you know. Um, but it's okay. That, that is what's the world like now. That's why I'm standing to make a change. And so why do you have... Do you have why do you think was it because one, uh, one nation they were uh, just scared of the the criticism, or do you th or was there um, something else behind the scenes that led to your disendorsement? Okay, now the James Ashby contacted me when I was uh, having holiday overseas, and he contacted me through uh, messenger. He said he he is a sick of uh, he is a, he had enough with this uh, media keep uh, kept asking him about my uh, gay comment, uh, I mean, uh, my comment about LGBT. And what I posted is the, uh, you know, all the, all the um, you know, uh, 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 about the crime conducted by, well, con or issues LGBT, which is, you know, it shouldn't be happen. For example, like, a, uh, there's another case I posted about Queensland gay couple, they are adopting these are uh, these boys and they play him around and then they also lend him to uh their friends and uh, internationally you know i i don't know if they sell him in the in the in a in a gay gay community or whatever but that's not only the only case there's another case that when i had an interview with abc uh, and I, they, that the reporter said, yeah, I, I know exactly what you mean. The worst uh, case they, they had is the inter investigating a, a, a case that would, for a two months old uh, baby has been raped by their adopted par uh, gay parents. So, you know, this kind of a, a problem, it's everywhere. It's not just one or two. It's more, you know. So, I, I, that's why I, you know, I, I just very, I couldn't understand why people are looking at my comment rather than the, 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 ch the children, the boys who are the, the victims, you know, yeah. Now, you said after your disendorsement, uh, you still supported, you know, Pauline and uh, what she uh, stands for, which is... Uh, it, 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 that, that's the story of quite a, quite a lot of um, uh, X One Nation candidates is that they still like Pauline Hanson but just don't like the the way the the, the party is uh, run and this was the the problem with the party during its first incarnation in the late nineties. Uh, do you think that um, the influence of a person such as James Ashby is uh, uh, causing uh, problems with the party because there have been a number of other candidates, One Nation candidates in this Queensland election who've been dis disendorsed. Definitely. I just think uh, James Ashby is uh, ruling the party, he's running the show. And, you know, I think uh, Pauline Hanson is just, uh, she needs to rely on someone, and but she rely on the wrong person, you know? that That is a pity. Um, if she could have a more a right person to help her, I'm sure she, her party will grow. It just when I was endorsed by One Nation, there's so many Asians support supported One Nation as well. You know, which is a good sign. You know, which which is uh, united everybody, more people to support One Nation. And you know, which could lead to a very positive uh, way, and to change our country, to 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 get our country back. But unfortunately, you know, after my disendorsement, there's so many people 
say, oh, they were going to prepare to join One Nation because of me, and after that they decide not because my dis uh, dis dis endorsement uh, just put them off. So, you know that which is a, which is a pity. I really think I can make a lot of uh, impact for One Nation. Yeah. And uh, how do you see the the future of the party? Uh, obviously, uh, in this uh, election, people are predicting One Nation will do well. It could win up to a dozen seats and hold the the balance of power uh, post election. But given that we've talked about these uh, internal uh, problems, do you uh, where do you see the party going in the future? Well, I mean, James Asby is disliked by all members. I would say all members, right? I haven't heard any single One Nation member says they like him. So if they are dozens of the candidate who successfully uh, won the seats, I mean, I... I don't think they would take too much about James Ashby. They would just do their own thing and, you know, to make changes for, for our, our country. So I wouldn't worry about too much about James Ashby uh, later on. Um, so, but if James Ashby continued to rule the party, I would, you know, be very worried about the party's future. I do. I don't have anything to against uh, the policy of one nation. Uh, uh, I, uh, as I say, I, I I always support what Pauline has said back in twenty years ago because I can see myself it, that that is the truth. We are in danger. Our country. We are going to lose our country to Chinese communists. This has been an unshackled fast. Please like, comment, and subscribe. While you're here, grab our free ebook at theunshackledbattlefield.net and visit theunshackled.net for all the latest news and commentary.